Okay, so I'm gonna say this really quickly right now. I understand that the tutorial is very long. I deeply apologize that I explain way too much all at once because I'm trying to explain different perspectives of different type of usages. But basically, just as quickly summarize it for people who just want to get it done and over with, basically try to get it done as fast as possible. Just go to the description, download the graph, load it to Vignon, and then pretty much um, all you really have to do if you want to have it the more lazy way of setting everything up, just load it to Vignon and you're done. If you want to make sure it's set up properly with Twitch, all you have to do is just look into the note graph. There is uh, an area that shows the channel point names, basically. You just copy those names and add each and every channel point that you want from the list that is provided in the note graph. If you want to set up hotkeys, you can, but otherwise, though, that's pretty much, in a nutshell, the graph, though. But if you are very, very brand new to Vignon and you want to understand the breakdown of the graph, please continue watching this video. But if you just want the simple way of, under of just knowing that, hey, there's a graph, um, in a nutshell, it's it should be in a basic level, basically. I don't know. Um, I'm just explaining in, in a nutshell. Okay, uh, continue on with the video. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, 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 hi everybody! I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So, are you a VTuber who wants to use Vignon, but you absolutely hate the living heck out of nodes? Like, uh, you basically go to the node graph here, right? Because the thing with Vignon is that it is a node-based program. Now, of course, you know, you can still do your normal tracking with Vignon, but if you really want to basically, you know, take advantage of the channel points or the Twitch abilities or anything like that, you would see all the nodes here, right? And this is just for the Twitch redeems, basically, my Twitch setup. And you may be looking at these nodes like, what the heck are any of these nodes? And I have made two tutorials specifically talking about how I set up these nodes, but there's still some people who are like, I hate this. Well, don't worry, because I got you covered. Now, in the description, um, you're going to go down. There is a resources section, and there is a node graph that you're going to download. And what is in that, um, and basically, like, what's in that node graph is, by the way, it's in the Google Drive link. That's where you can download the graph completely free. Um, what's in the node graph, it's basically uh, a beginner template. So basically it should have pretty much the basics of what you really need. It already has pre-existing Twitch setup, it has some example channel points, has some example hotkeys for cameras, some blend shape stuff. Basically um, stuff that a beginner would, you know, would love to have on Gangstar with Vignon. Of course, I will mention, there is a lot more you can definitely do with Vignon, uh, but I made this node graph specifically for beginners, people who uh, want little to no edits with the node graph, and um, also uh, should be hopefully easy to understand. I will go over that node graph with you so you can understand how to edit it or anything like that or get a basic understanding of what the heck is going on. So this is going to be another node tutorial, but hopefully this one will be a lot more beginner safe. So once you download the node graph in the description, what you're going to do, it will be a JSON file. That's all you really much need. There's also going to be a text file included, which will basically be the channel point, um, the channel point names that you have to register with your Twitch account basically. So pretty much what you're going to first do um, once you download that, you're going to go into the node graph here, right? There's a node graph little option and of course ignore this little mess here. This is not what it's going to look like. Uh, the setup you have is a little bit more simplified basically than what I just have here. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to click on um, add new graph basically so click on add new graph and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the load button here and you're going to depending on where you saved your JSON file and if in case you're wondering where do I save the JSON file it doesn't matter where on the computer Vignon once it's loaded it will automatically save it into the program um, so you can save it to your desktop, save it to your folder, whatever. The JSON file has to be somewhere on your PC and you have to load it somewhere. Um, so just load the JSON file and then it'll say, uh, currently active graph will be completely replaced. Just say yes. Um, I'm going to go to desktop and then you're going to find the JSON file, uh, for the beginner node graph. And it's going to look like this basically. Now you may also get a bit overwhelmed because there are so much all at once, but I'm going to break it down for you. That way you can better understand how to use this graph. Now again, this graph is specifically made 
for beginners or people who want little to no edits on this graph. It's basically, you know, just the basics, basically. Or at least as most as you can do with Vina, at least to my knowledge, because I... I'm also, I also don't know too much, too much about Vinyam, but just the basics. So, either way, we're gonna break it down. So, there'll be a message here, and um, obviously there is this little dash here. When you do get the graph, there will be the YouTube link uh, for this exact tutorial, in case you download it early or anything like that. So, hi! Um, so, there's that. Pretty much with this graph, I don't care if you credit me, I don't care if you redistribute it, I don't care if you edit it. It's your graph, made for you, and only for you and everyone else in the VTuber community. So, you're welcome. Now, this area here, uh, this is basically your Twitch alert nodes. These are the ones you don't really have to touch. The only one I would say, it does, it's not specific to Twitch only, um, it also has your application start. So. If, um, if you want little to no edit, at least, at best, what I recommend is to load the avatar, your VRM or VSF avatar file here. And that's all you mainly have to do in this, uh, column here. I made these in columns, basically. Uh, but you can, of course, adjust the thing, so, you know, with your emote dropper. And by the way, just for emote dropper, um, cause that is a thing, emote dropper, you would basically have to go into your settings, general settings, then you're going to go into miscellaneous and you're going to make sure the drop twitch emotes is enabled here. That way it can work. If this is not enabled, it's not going to work. So please make sure this is enabled for the emote dropper, basically. Um, so there's that. And for the most part, there are basically you have an example bits, um, for instance. Now I'm going to say this real quickly also. If you're going to be editing this graph, right? And you're trying to edit the values. Do not do this. Don't don't just type like this number, like this big freaking number, because one, unrealistic, but two, um, this can also kind of stress Vignon out and it can just make it not work. So please keep the number a bit more reasonable, basically. Like you can put it to let's say 9,000, for example, or 10,000, you know, depending depending on your preference, I guess. Um, but I set to default a thousand, just as like a start, basically. So that's pretty much what you need. You do not have to spam a thousand nines, uh, just, no, you don't have to. Just keep the number simple. If by any chance, of course, let's say you do get a bigger donation, right? Uh, nowhere, and for some reason, Vignon didn't detect it. You can always, of course, right click and send signal to re, um, send that, you know, event basically i'll say that um and then you could of course increase the number to be a bit higher depending on you know depending so yeah just wanted to at least mention that because i saw someone did that and it kind of the thing didn't work basically now um pretty much for the most part you got your follow here it's pretty much simple the raid same same thing too don't just spam a thousand nines keep it reasonable you can have it as like uh, a thousand or even nine thousand if you want depending on the number you can make it a little higher just don't make it too many nines it can even be thirty thousand you know like that simple numbers basically um so yeah simple as that um and you could of course change the values if you want the yeet to be a lot more um more powerful you can do that so you could just change the values um i'm basically just going over this to kind of just break it down uh, again, if you by any chance don't want to edit this graph at all, then just import and you're basically done. But do keep in mind though, uh, like I said, the channel points, you have to register their names, which I'll get into in a bit. Um, but I'm just saying uh, there are some little stuff you can do to make the graph a little bit more perfect for your case. But again, if by any chance you don't want to do any edits, you just want to slap it and go, That this graph was made for that. Uh, so then you got subscriptions, that's confetti. There's also the hype train set for a start and then end, basically. So end will just be yeet. And then hype train will just be basically this. Simple as that. Um, and then that's pretty much it for at least the Twitch related stuff. These are just the Twitch alerts or um, your basic, you know, application start. You know, when that Vignon is on, you can do that. Um, of course, same thing with world. If you have a world environment, which I do have a, a Sweet Home 3D tutorial as well as a Vignon world tutorial if you want to make your own custom world. 
Uh, but for the most part, you just need to load, um, av you know, load the avatar. And I will also say this too, by the way, um, because I did mention that if there's any nodes that do come off useless to you and you want to, I guess, edit the nodes and you don't, let's say, for example, the load world, you don't want that, you can literally just right click and delete it and you can just remove it if you don't need it or want it there. But for the most part, if you, you know, if you leave it there, it's not going to do anything bad, but if it does, then just delete it. But for the most part, I made the graph so it doesn't do that. Alright, so the next column here is basically your um, your channel points. So these channel points, I made them, um, and so I made as much as I can that is kind of like native to Vina without having you download any extra stuff, basically. So these are built into Vina, uh, and I was able to make the redeems for you guys. So there's a water redeem, slime, wind, rainbow, pixelation, big head, chibi, head pad, throw item, box, uh, drop the box, um, toss pie, the cookie, watermelon, um, yeet, bonk, spin, glitch, and then drop the pie. So, yeah. Um, and again, if you need to, if there's any of the redeems that you don't want, just delete them. It's very simple. Just right click and delete. And pretty much, um, the thing you have to do, um, which I will, you know, I will switch the, um, the screen from Vinyan to my Twitch. Basically, you would just have to copy these names, uh, over to your Twitch account. So, if you don't know how to add channel points, I'll show you real quickly, but I'll also leave a tutorial in the description in case, um, I explain it poorly or anything like that. But basically, you just go to your, um, viewer rewards, you go there, and then you should be able to have the option to add if you are a Twitch affiliate or Twitch partner. If you are neither an affiliate or partner, you will not be able to utilize these channel points unless you're an affiliate or anything like that. If by any chance you stream only on YouTube, these are actually useless to you, basically. Um, and same things with these as well. For the most part, if you're just YouTube only, you don't do Twitch at all, the least this graph will do in favor for you will be the hotkeys area over here, which I'll go over that in a moment. But I just wanted to at least say that if you're a YouTube only person, the hotkeys over here would probably be beneficial to you. If not, then I would recommend probably, um, you can, there's definitely other stuff you can do with Vinyan, uh, that this graph, you know, may not have for instance um if you want to have like the jiggle arm then your youtube only you can also set up your jiggle arm uh you know the arm sway or even the drawing sway made by heavy for instance or you can have bts pog work with youtube that's another option i just wanted to like let that like you like you know because i also do youtube as well um so there's th th even though vina is primarily twitch like, you know, Twitch when it comes to the whole nodes, you can still be able to utilize Vinyan with YouTube. And if you're an advanced person, by the way, if by any chance you're a very advanced person and you know your way with StreamerBot, basically, um, I would definitely recommend um, you StreamerBot and utilize WebSockets. That way you can actually be able to get YouTube stuff, YouTube um, communication, I guess, um, you know, YouTube events from streamer bot to Vinyan so it actually can react. I don't know how to do that quite yet, but it's a thing. So anyway, so besides that though, uh, let's go ahead uh, real quickly to my Twitch and I will show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so here I am um, basically on my Twitch dashboard and basically um, pretty much what you're going to do when you go to your Twitch dashboard, you should know where that is. Uh, there, if you are, again, a Twitch affiliate or by chance a Twitch partner, um, you can go into your rewards here, go to channel points, and then you're going to go to manage rewards and challenges here. And for instance, you can see all my redeems here, how much they cost and all the other stuff. Um, so basically, if you want to add a reward, you can add it here. So add new custom reward. And basically, when you look at the graph, uh, again, the names are included in the graph. And then there's also the separate text file in case you prefer the text file. But basically, you're going to type in one of the redeems that are provided in the text file. So... For instance, um, I have a redeem in here in the node graph called water, just water. Um, so basically, we're going to type in water. And then you can type whatever you want, you just whatever, or just don't even include anything. 
Then you're going to enter how much it'll cost, like 200 basically. You can add your uh, image if you want, whatever. Choose your color, I guess, basically. And set your cooldown and all that. Very simple. But pretty much you just copy the name here. Type in the cost. That's pretty much it if you want to keep it very simple. Easy peasy. And then you click on create. And then you'll go ahead and find where the redeem is. It says water here. And basically after that, you pretty much have it where now the channel point on Vinyan can now read uh, the channel point on Twitch, basically. So if someone redeems water, it will actually be able to work. Um, that's pretty much all you really have to do. Now let's go back to Vinyan. Okay, so now that we covered on how to set up the whole channel point redeem stuff, which is very easy. Again, you literally, you don't even have to touch the settings here. Unless you want to, if let's say the volume's too loud on a particular part, or if something doesn't look nice to you or something, or heck, if you want to change the watercolor to be something else or something. Um, basically, all you really have to do is just copy these names just one by one. So water... There's that, slime, so on, basically. There go by a list. So, should be simple, um, pretty much. And just to also elaborate here, by the way, in case by any chance you want to add more to the redeem, I, of course, did have two other tutorials that explain exactly this layout. Basically, this is pretty much the setup that the Vinyan um, setup wizard will basically have for the node, basically. So, basically, just to quickly show you in case anyone wants to add more let's say for the timer redeems basically so let's say for rainbow it's literally just this section and i kind of split up in a way like this so it makes more sense so basically rainbow um will basically have it where if uh right now it will be set to zero but basically when rainbow is being turned on so when you basically select on send signal it will basically uh make it so it goes from zero to one so it's making it turn on and then what it's going to be doing is that it's going to start the timer, which is rainbow off basically. And pretty much it's going to activate it. So it'll make me rainbow for 10 seconds. And then for this timer, it's going to turn it off. So after 10 seconds, we start this timer here. So after 10 seconds, the rainbow, instead of being one, it will be set to zero. And pretty much what is being affected, which will be the on here and then the timer off, it's affecting the rainbow. This also applies as well for the water itself. Same order, um, you know, same setup. I did have to stretch these out in case anybody does get a little confused on where the channel points are. So do excuse that these are a bit more stretched out and for some reason I didn't stretch this, basically. Um, I'll probably move those back. Depends, but it should be easy to find. Just uh, look for the channel point area if you want to change or something. But even then, that's only if you really want to edit it. If by any chance you don't want to touch this at all and you just want to slap on it, all you just, again, all you really have to do, just register these names to your Twitch. That's it. You don't have to touch anything. That's it. Unless you want to touch the other stuff, you may. And just also, again, um, if you are, like, want to do some slight edits to this instead of going a little crazy... All you really have to do is just focus on the bottom right corner of each sort of area of that setup I just showed, basically. Just touch the, you know, let's say water here, or slime, or spinner, so on, basically. Easy as that. Okay, now, besides that, though, um, we'll go on to the basic hotkeys, basically. Now, these are not necessary, but these are basically examples on getting you started uh, with the hotkeys. So... These are set as hotkeys, but if by any chance you use a stream deck, I highly recommend please check out my um, my WebSocket tutorial on Vinyan on how I personally set up my stuff to work with a stream deck. So for instance, I have um, my angry face triggered by the stream deck, as well as my joy face and my derp eyes, so yeah. And I will also say as well, uh, before we get started, if by any chance you want blend shape toggles exactly like VC face, I recommend please check out my other tutorial, which again, I linked the tutorials here. Um, basically, one of the tutorials also shares another graph that you're going to have to load on basically the graph that acts like VC face. Uh, it works really well with Roy Moss, but of course you can edit it. Uh, for your own personal model, especially if you're a non boost model, or whatever the heck, basically. But it should work with a basic VRM setup. 
now. Um, and then of course I have another tutorial on how to fix any glitching. So if you have the joy face but your eyes are glitching out a lot, there's I have the other second tutorial that shows how to fix that. Now, pretty much, it's very simple to set up the hotkey, basically. All you have to do is click on the set hotkey here and press the number whatever the heck on your keyboard. Again, if you're a WebSocket user or Stream Deck, there's another tutorial for that. Um, which I'll make sure also to include in here later. I'll, you know, some stuff I will have to edit. But basically, you just set up the hotkey to whatever you want. Uh, for instance, I set it to 1. And basically, what it's going to do is, if I'm too far down or something like that and I need to correct myself then basically that's what the button's for uh, resetting the tracking that way it's looking nice basically and of course this can be global too so if you're playing your game and you notice your character is going a little lopsided just hit, press the hotkey and you're done uh, the next thing is of course the sitting the chair uh, basically so pretty much we can set a different hotkey for this so two and then we need to set up the stop um, I believe stop animation yep so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go press number two and it's going to make me sit down basically pretty much and this should be pre-made into Vignon if not if by any chance this does not end up working um, I will definitely make sure to let you guys know how to fix this or I'll, I'll, I'll put like a pin comment to show like how to fix it if by any chance the sit on chair does not appear um, just let me know, but you should have the basics, uh, basic motions already defaulted into being yeah, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then if you want to stop the animation, like you don't want to sit anymore, just press, you know, whatever hotkey you set this to, and boom, back to normal. So that way you have a sit toggle, yay, for VTubers who want to just sit. Um... And then, of course, there is a prop. Now, probably this will be blank for you. Uh, there are some example Vignon props you can check out on your folder. So you'll have to go to the props here and then add a prop here and find the Vignon prop folder and find the existing props there. Or you can join Suzy Discord server and download some props there. Or you can even make your own. But if you, again, I would just recommend for if you're an absolute beginner, just stick with the uh props that are existing in the Vignon folder already or just join the discord server uh, there are explanations on where to put the props or the files at so it should help you out a lot now besides that though um, there's also, of course um, the blend shape stuff here now again this I do not recommend uh, really setting up if you're gonna do like the main expressions that are supposed to be non additive again I would recommend checking out my um, expression tutorial which has like a better toggle system like how mine can basically just do this basically because for this one if I were to set up the hotkey for this one let's say six and seven uh, this will basically merge the blend shapes basically uh, for this method it'll still be able to be toggleable which is you know for basic setup which is nice but if you plan on doing a lot of mixing like I do I would recommend checking out the other tutorial for that but uh, again if you want to keep it very basic these uh, these things should at least uh, compensate for the default VR and blend shape if you want to add more go ahead and add more if you don't know what blend shapes you have on your avatar go to monitor and then check on the blend shape list you have here I have a lot so it explains why I have so much on my model but it could be different for your mall basically all right then, and that should pretty much cover at least the um, hotkey section here, basically. So that's all good. And last but not least, we have the camera hotkeys. Very simple. Um, I also showed how to set up the Vignon cameras because uh, the thing with the Vignon cameras is that they act a little different. They, they act different than VC face cameras, so it will be a little bit confusing when you start off. You know. You know, like just starting off, like basically going to general settings and then uh, going to your camera here and trying to click on these cameras and it doesn't change. Yeah, the only way to change your camera is actually by actually setting, a hot, setting up a hotkey or WebSocket and connecting it to a camera node. So that's why I have these pre-existing. Again, I recommend checking out this tutorial as it goes uh, specifically over how to set up the Vignon cameras. But again, if you don't want to set it up, then yeah. Um... 
But overall, there is uh, basically just five cameras because, you know, average should, at, at best, on average, it should be just up to five cameras. But for some reason, if you want to add more, I would say you can add more because Vinyan does have a lot of uh, cameras. Um, so, like, a lot, a lot, basically, like, more than 20. So, yeah. Um... Overall, though, that should pretty much be an explanation on how to set up this note. I apologize that the tutorial is long. I really wanted to make sure that you guys fully understand the note graph in case you have no idea what to do. But for the most part, though, it should be very simple. I was just explaining it for all different perspectives on the node graph, whether you are an absolute beginner, where you're doing your semi, whether you want to do a little more or you're advanced, all that stuff. But if you want to, again, learn more about Vinyan, please check out the tutorials that are linked in the messages as those should help you out on advancing more with Vinyan. And um, again, let me know um, if this tutorial helps you out. Let me know if this node graph has helped you out a lot. And let me know if there's any issues with the node graph. But again, um, I will say this right now, please uh, don't ask me uh, to add in the node graph, for example, uh, you want a node where the character will have, let's say, two flamethrowers and then there's like a toggle to emit flames to a flamethrower or something crazy like that or some channel point redeem or some, I don't know, um, I'm just throwing out an example. Basically, this node graph is supposed to be for basic beginner stuff not supposed to be for, um, it's like, it can be used for advanced users, of course, uh, but I don't want to make this node graph any more than it is already. It's pretty much just up to you as a VTuber to edit the graph to your personal taste, basically. Again, I would recommend if you want to do more intense node work and you're curious on how to do that, please join the Vinyan Discord server as there is so much information, even for more advanced users. Uh, that is how I personally was able to learn more about Vinyan and how I was able to be able to make this node graph for you guys, basically, all thanks to that server. So please join that server when you can. With that being said though, let me know if you have any other questions about getting started with Vinyan or if you have any tutorial requests. Uh, also one last thing as well, um, just want to say this, when you do load the graph, please make sure to click on the rename button here. That way it can be properly renamed up here, basically. That way it's nice. So yeah, I forgot I mentioned that. But either way though, I hope you guys have a lovely day and let me know if you need anything. I'll put my socials down here for any questions and yeah. Have a lovely day, everyone. Hika, 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 signing everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye!